we're gonna do s oh god. Terms this semester are going to be a little bit different. Um, you will get at the start of each unit a list of a term page like this uh, with a list of terms down the left column. Sometimes there'll be terms, uh, there'll be events, and they will be famous people. Um, you will use basically two sources to do the research for this. The first source you will use is your book, AP United States History Examination, and your textbook that you have at home. In a few moments, I'm going to show you how to do the terms. Okay, how to do the terms. Um, well, first, what you'll need to do, for demonstration's sake, we're going to take this one right here, Andrew Carnegie. Um, look in your textbook for Andrew Carnegie, or look in your AP United States His History Examination book for Andrew Carnegie, and you will find his name here on page 175. Read this section, and then in as few words and sentences as you can, write down a description of Andrew Carnegie here next to his name. You will continue to do this for all the terms. You may add words, sentences, uh, paragraphs, and pictures if you'd like, just so that you get a better understanding of who these people are and their relationship to the period that we're studying. Now, let us move to taking reading notes using Cornell Notes. In order to do the reading notes and Cornell Notes, you will need to have three papers or four papers in front of you. First, you will find in your packet a page called Reading Notes Questions. These are the questions that go on the left side. And then you will have a series of fact sheets. This particular one is called Industrialization and Corporate Consolidation. You will look through this and you'll try to acquire the information that you can that would perhaps answer the questions on the left side. This goes on the right side of your Cornell Notes. This goes on your left side of your Cornell Notes. You do not use all the information here. You only specifically use the specific ones that would relate to these questions. You may also use as a source book, again, your AP United States History Examination book. Uh, and you can also use your American Pathways to the Present book. As long as the questions that you have from the left side are answered on the right side. You may also go to your computer and you may also go to the online text, which you will find under online resources on your textbook. Try to do as good a job as you can, and don't forget to summarize your Cornell notes.